Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be for my witchy friends. These are just some witchy tips. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm an old school witch way back in the day. Uh, I've been practicing this probably since I was 13, 14. I'm now 50 something. So um, we all have different ways of doing this. We were all taught differently. There's different types of witches and all the things. This is just how I do it. And... You know, I pick up from here, there, and, and pick up things. The base of witchcraft to me is you. Like, what resonates with you, what what you, you know, it's like going out to the, going for a walk or going on the beach and finding a rock or a shell that you love or a piece of art somewhere. You know how that, like, resonates with you and... Uh, makes you happy and feel good and you know all that kind of thing that's what this is to me um, of course I don't wiggle my nose and you know walk around with the wand and poof and and all that kind of stuff that's not what it is uh, it's a lot of intention it's a lot of um, good positive energy or maybe you know you somebody is doing you dirty and you know whatever um that's a thing for another day but like so everybody's different so please don't don't write me and give me all the cramp i don't really care this is how i do it and i've been asked this a lot so i'm gonna start quit boring you with all of my details okay one of the biggest questions i get is candle magic and candle magic is wonderful but you can use so many different candles. Um, you can get these from the dollar store. They're just your everyday white candle. I know some witches will leave them burned for, you know, three, four days uh, until it's all the way out. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I have cats and, I, you know, um, I don't know if I've ever told this story, but years ago I had my beautiful cat Willow and she was a black cat and she was my familiar she was wonderful and she jumped up where i had a wax melter that was melting wax and it poured all over her and the sound that came from this poor animal and she hid up in our ceiling downstairs we have like a dropped ceiling kind of thing she hid in there for days and days and days. My husband had to finally crawl in, take all the things down. It was horrible. She was a mess. Um, but she survived. Her hair never grew back on the one side, but that's okay. Um, so I never leave these lit without me. I never do wax melt um, unless I'm around or leave these burned for that reason. But these are fantastic. This is a um, one that has a... Uh, St. Jude on it, but you can just get them plain. I get white and I get black. Sometimes they have pink, but the deal is with these at the Dollar Tree is you have to make sure that they're painted all, that they're the color all the way through. And I don't have, do I have, let me see if I have it over here. Ugh. Yeah, here's my black one. And if you turn it over, you can see it's black all the way through. Sometimes when you go uh, look at the candles, you'll see like the color of the candle, like let's say pink, and then inside here's white. So that's how you know the candle's not all the way through. Uh, so I do, that's one thing I do like to do is make sure that, I mean, any candle will work, but I usually substitute white for any other color that I don't have. But that's completely preference, that's up to you. But something that I do, and I'm gonna tell you, uh, is and you're gonna see this and people you know you do as you choose you can get these from the dollar tree and obviously we have birthday candles but something i do is a magic trick and i make it fly something i do is i break them in half and then i will carve out you could see i melted some of the wax away from that and these become my candles I have little uh, pieces of clay that I will set so I could set this in, right? So it stands. Uh, you can use, I mean, I'm, I do art and all that kind of stuff. So, so I have gummy erasers sitting around and I will take my, let's see, back of my paintbrush 
sticker in there. And do my deed, do my spell, do whatever. And now I can sit here. It's You're not going to sit for days or hours uh, or leave it unattended. I do not recommend you leaving it unattended. But that, that is how simple that this can be. You know, you want to put your intention in it. Um, and, you know, in the candle that you're getting ready to burn, which would be this half, put your intention into it. And uh, if you do your oils, your herbs, whatever you're, you know, whatever that you would do on a normal candle for the spell that you're doing. And just put it in, you know, something safe. Now, these are bigger. These are, they're five hours, but... Let's say sometimes outside you want to do a spell on your deck. And, you know, these will be great. You know that approximately five hours you can, um, this will be burnt, uh, burned down. You can carve, and this isn't any candle, but you can carve in. And let me show you. There's so many things you can carve in, but I love that. I got these from Timu. I'm, like, obsessed with Timu. And it's a razor. A, but what's it called? Like a little knife and you can go and you can carve your uh you know your room your whatever whatever you want in there your words your spells whatever so these are great or you can use a pen that has no ink or even if it has ink it doesn't matter and the same with this you can cut this in half and use it let's see if i can get it cut in half here while we're sitting here just to show you Okay, so, you know, you do whatever, do half or whatever, and you just kind of stick your knife in and roll it. So it gets that cut in it. You don't have to be even, even Steven. You just want it to go around. I can't get my strength in. I have RA and fibro, and it's so hard sometimes. There we go. It's going. And you see how it starts to break. Go back and forth, back and forth. And if your wick doesn't cut, just get a pair of scissors or your knife, whatever you're using. It happens. And you go in and look at that. Look what we got. Look what we got. And so now you can, now I look here and I can see the wick right here. I can see the wick here. Um, obviously the wick is there, but then I just go in with my knife and I will carve it or even easier. I get my lighter and oh, my hands today do not want to work and I will just melt it. Just like that. And now you have your wick. So there are, you know, so many things. The dollar store has so many. And look, see that wax? You could do that. And you can stick your ca your candle in here, camera. Your candle in here until it dries. And then that'll sit like that. So, so many things that you can do so many options at the dollar tree wherever your craft store your art store uh a lot of us don't have uh witch stores wiccan stores whatever around us uh, metaphysical stores so these are just great ways to do things and yeah so that was a question and i wanted to ask it and that is simply it any other questions just leave below i'll answer you um if you're uncomfortable with asking in public uh, my email is there as well. It's knittingandthings at gmail.com. And I will gladly answer you. And I mean, that is as simple as it is. Uh, the next thing I will do, uh, the next video will be dressing the candle, which like I showed you either carving in or putting your oil and herbs or things to help intensify that spell. Um, and that is a green candle I use, which I'll bring in from my other room where I do my money spells or things like that. So I'll talk to you about that in the next video. 
as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And leave me questions. Leave me, uh, you know, all the things. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.